Uh, this was an appalling tragedy, and my thoughts remain with all of those affected. We understand the strength of feeling on this and the need for action. The government has accepted the moral case for compensation and acknowledged that justice needs to be delivered for victims. As such, the government intends to respond in full to Sir Brian Langstaff's recommendations for wider compensation following the publication of the inquiry's final report in May 2024. Thank you for your answer. In, in, in answering the question, it has brought forth uh, another question. Uh, the Chancellor was a previous uh, Secretary for the Department of Health, and three of his, uh, his former colleagues all gave commitment that they wanted to address this issue. Now that the Chancellor is in a position to do something about that, how long is it going to take? And the difficulty that I have is that this government uh, his days are numbered. Will it be in place before we have an election and ensure that the commitment is there? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I know the honourable gentleman has a lifelong friend who suffered, suffered from this terrible tragedy, and I can reassure him that we're determined to do right by victims and those who have tragically lost their loved ones. Um, the victims of the infected blood scandal deserve justice and recognition. In terms of his uh, question on timing, um, governments of all colours have failed to sort this out. I'm pleased that the interim payments at least have been paid. And, as I said, the government is committed to the moral case for compensation and we're expecting the final report very soon and we will move as quickly as possible afterwards. Clive Effort. Thank you, Mr Speaker. We, we've had uh, Sir Brian Langstaff's recommendations since April 2023. And Mrs Doricott, the wife of uh, the Chancellor's uh, constituent, Mike, told the inquiry that the Chancellor, when he was Health Secretary, told Mr Doricott not to worry about this, we will sort it. Now he's Chancellor with his hands on the purse strings. So will he now, through his uh, colleague, will he now commit that the, uh, confirm that the Government has identified the contingencies to pay the compensation to these people who have been hit by affected and, and, and affected blood I thank the honourable gentleman for his question. I can confirm him that we're working with the Cabinet Office and DHSC to make sure that we can respond as quickly as possible once the inquiry reports. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Chancellor knows jolly well that in April 2023, Sir Brian Langstaff made his final recommendations on compensation for those infected and affected by the contaminated blood scandal. The Chancellor also gave evidence in July to Sir Brian and said that work was underway. In December, this House voted for a compensation body to be set up. So I would like the Chancellor to answer my question, please, not the junior minister, to explain exactly what in the Treasury is going on and what work is un being undertaken and is there going to be an announcement in the budget? With great respect to the Honourable Lady, who has campaigned formidably on this issue, I don't think she is giving a fair representation of what the Government has done. I stand by every word that I said as a backbencher, and as Chancellor, I've tried to do everything I can to speed this up. She has not mentioned that the Government has already given compensation of £100,000 to the families affected. We have accepted the moral importance and duty to give compensation, and we are now going to work with colleagues in the other place to make her amendment workable. Right, that completes questions.